Hello everybody, Black Forest Labs, the company behind the Flux models, introduced the new Flux.1 tools, which is a collection of different models. You can use it for in-painting, out-painting, there is a model for the creation of death maps, and there is a model for the creation of Kenny line art images, and there is a model for Redux, which is in some ways an equivalent to the IP adapter. You might know four stable diffusion models. In this video I want to give you a quick overview about the fill, depth, Kenny and Redox models and what you can do with it. All infos can also be found on the Black Forest Labs blog and I will guide you through the use of those models in future videos. So we will do some in-painting, out-painting videos and the control net and also the Redux functionality. I think the results on the blog page are quite awesome. Here you got some in-painting uh, examples. You can exchange the clothes of this man and also there is an example for exchanging some text here in this light advertising and the results are quite nice. Here is a nice outpainting example. You have only the eye and flux will outpaint the whole face of this person. Quite nice as well. The performance should be also quite nice. You can see the ELO score here. The benchmark is publicly available under the link here. I will link all the pages I talk about in the description below. You see a comparison of speed here it's compared to the SD 1.5 in painting. You might know. So this was a fill model. There is this death and Kenny control net functionality. So you can see we have this starting image here and this as well. And uh, it gets converted to a death map, which then is used at the base for those generations in different styles with different prompts. And I think those results are quite nice as well. The same is done with this old, but now in the Kenny line art style interpretation which is then used drawing those images with different prompts in different ways. Depending on your needs, the one interpretation might be better than the other. If you have more depth information, the depth control net might be better. This is quite awesome as well. You have a comparison of the Kenny and the death usage here as well compared to mid-journey retexture for example and black forest is claiming here that they are faster as well i have to make some tests myself but this sounds quite promising as well the last tool is the redox functionality which i think is the most impressive one it can be compared to ip adapter you might know it's for restyling images or doing variations. We have the starting images here and you can variate, for example, this bread and milk cup image to different compositions and different variations. I think this is really great. And a similar thing is done for those two images. There is a um, combination used between the input image and the prompt, which gives you kind of nice restyling results, which I also like a lot. Same is done for this portrait image, a nice funny way of restyling. And here you can see a pen and ink sketch, for example, and detailed anime artwork. This should all be possible with the Flux Redux. Yeah, I'm really looking forward on um, working with those tools. I will do videos for every tool one by one. So stay tuned and subscribe to the channel that you don't miss a video. All the tools can be downloaded on the Black Forest Labs Hugging Face pages. I will link this page in the description below. You see the Flux Fill, Redux, Death and Kenny. Those tools can be used with the Pro, Flux Pro model, but then you need an API key and it can also be used locally with the Dev model. For this, you just have to agree with some statements on the Hugging Face page and then you can download them and use them locally with ComfyUI, for example. Yeah, stay tuned for the step-by-step -step tutorials on how to use them. I hope to see you soon. Bye-bye.